there, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to uh, Enigmatis, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. I am Bee Coops of Might, also known as Bee Coops for short, and I hope that you will uh, join me on what should be the final episode of, uh, of the main game of this, not counting the little bonus chapter. Uh, so, we have done a whole lot in this town and have uh, been trying to unravel the mysteries of it and the demonic kind of cult that's going on with a mysterious uh, serial killing priest as its uh, figurehead here. Uh, we have rescued the uh, the missing woman that we came here originally to find and also her boyfriend who was a town citizen who uh, was trying to stop being a part of everything. Um, they have uh, we've gotten them a car and they've gone off to uh, hopefully call in the cavalry for us. Um, beyond that, though, we've gotten uh, several pieces that we need to try and uh, open up some strange thing so that we can get uh, everything started to uh, to to be, I guess, to start bringing everything down uh, so that it, you know, stops murdering people. Um, so we're uh, we're, just, we're currently at the gas station. This is basically where I left off last time and we are going to go forward from here. Like I mentioned, we've got some of the demonic symbols um, that we need to assemble for everything else. Got a rope ladder and some matches. <laughs> so, truly, we are, we are working it. All right, so we're gonna go back to the chapel because that's where we have some, uh, some stuff highlighted. All right, cool. Got some sparkles to look through. Tablecloth, butterfly, feather, tablecloth, that thing probably. Butterfly, feather, 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 um, ooh, horns, uh, shell, rose, oh, rose, uh, shell, no, that's a fan, oh, that's a shell, Pff, duh, um, that's a big shell, dang, butterfly, hanger, a rosette, a rosette. Bird. Feather. Oh, feather. There we go. And the hanger. I probably would not have done that without the hint. That's fine. Alright, we've got four or five. We are getting close. Alright. Let's head back over. Oh, right. Because it kind of kind of looks like in the um, in the image that we've got where is it crime scene here we go in the image that we've got it kind of looks like it's all based around the um, something like the clapper maybe anyway but regardless we probably would have had to go back to the church to try and find whatever was left um, down the stairs here we go okay Coffee beans? Okay. Uh, spectacles, pine cones. Oh, nope. There we go. Skull. Uh, spade, dove, shells. Shells plural? Shell. Singular. Okay. Shell. A lot of shells here. Oak leaf. I think I found that one earlier by mistake. Um, spectacles, pine cone, a dove, and a ring. Um, oh, that's a ring. Where's the dove? Ah, the dove is on the... I don't actually know what that thing is called. The priest scarf. Demonic symbol. Alright, we've got them all. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright. Across the lake we go. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what we can get up to. Towards the lake. Towards the lake. Go the other side. Okay. Use that thing. Oh, that's okay. What is it? Same runes as the one on the rock. The numbers might indicate a sequence. Oh boy. Okay. Um one, two. Three. So, cross, beaker, square, 
Cross, Beaker, Square, L, X, Cross, Beaker, Square, square L, X, V, not V, Infinity, Q. Okay. Let's see if this thing lets me try that. So you, 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 you. Yeah. Looks too far down to jump safely. Well, good thing I got a rope ladder. This is so creepy. <laughs> There's some dry wood in the basin. Well, I got matches. Now I have nothing. Oh. You're smart, detective. Smarter than I thought. A great pity for us both. My bell, you silenced it before I could drain my pockets and fully revive. My congratulations. I'm helpless. Is it true? Did you murder all those women? Why? Who are you? I. Consequence to you, you'd neither believe nor understand. It doesn't matter. You'll do no harm to anyone anymore. What's behind that door? You know perfectly well, detective. But why not indulge your curiosity? You better take a look around before your incompetent backup arrives. Backup is backup. This chain is rust eaten by time. A chain this rust eaten by time can't be too secure. Well, I don't have anything I can use right now. All right. I better stay and keep an eye on him until the reinforcements arrive. That's fair. To the room. Well, how many lives have been lost on this altar of evil? I'll do whatever it takes to destroy it if that means no one else is murdered here. Pretty sure they use the wrong version of altar if you don't remember. <clears throat> this is where all the victims have been murdered. The painting in the chamber showed that demonic clapper here. The cracked neck barely supports the demon's head. Can I just... No. Too high. Wow. That just looks awful. Thank you, detective. I knew you could solve it. Now, it's high time I close this case. I've been waiting for this moment for 30 years. Wait. I know who you are and what you have done, but you must be brought to trial. No, ah. You have no idea who he is. What he is, he must be stopped. 
stop once and for all. I'll kill him right here, right now. He'll suffer the same fate as his victim. Well, then you'll be no better than him. Fate or enemy, is this what she would have you do? Don't you dare speak her name. You can't stop me, detective. I, okay, so I will say, given that he is apparently a man who has been doing this for some time, who has some kind of magic bullshit that let him control a demonic bell that would drain the life out of people, it's not really a bad idea to just get just kill him now because who knows if he'd even stay in a prison cell or anything like that for however many years it took him to go through like actual death row I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm just saying in this specific context of supernatural bullshittery alright we're gonna take this Thank you very much. I've waited too long for this. He will die this day. Hey. What are you doing? Well. There will be no more murders here. really close to the end. You've done well, detective. <coughs> Burroughs is here, safe in our custody. Her boyfriend is recovering at the hospital, and Maple Creek is finally at peace. However, we could find neither hide nor hair of the criminal, and Hamilton disappeared into thin air, too. Thank you again, detective. I owe my Continue life to you, but I'm afraid I'll never feel safe with the killer still on the loose. I understand. To be continued. I didn't realize just how close I was to the end of the game. My bad. Alright, well, we're going to go to the main menu. And since I still have most of uh, the allotted hour left, we're going to go ahead and play the bonus chapter. So I'll make sure to include that in the uh, description um, that it includes this. <laughs> so, um, before we do go continue, though, so that is the core of the story of Enigmatis, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. Um, it sets up the rest of the trilogy, because there are three of these games, all made with this, all uh, based around the same detective who is out to finish what she started. She has now realized that there are supernatural things in the world, that there is a demonic priest cult guy uh, who's using his powers to drain the life out of people. And uh, she's determined to stop him because it's it's her job. It's her case. She's going to do it because she's awesome. Let's be real. Um, and uh, and each game also has a, uh, a sort of prequel story that goes with it that lets you know, like, uh, some of the background of what you're, you encountered in the actual games, which is what we're going to be playing right now. Um, so we're going to be doing The Ghosts of the Past. This is actually a just a small chapter that has to do with when Detective Richard Hamilton came to Maple Creek. And it's really cool to kind of see some of the stuff, like some of the setup um, for things and in, in events that you see in The Ghosts of Maple Creek. It's really cool to see the setup for it that happens from this bonus. It's really awesome. So I'm actually excited that I get to go ahead and do that tonight. So let's go. 
Uh, again, regular mode. <laughs> Maple Creek, July 11th, 1980. Eight days in this new town. Countless interviews. And I haven't elicited one word about Emily from the preacher's mindless flock. What's your story, preacher man? <laughs> to meet here on our date and now you're lost and I'm helplessly searching for you there's something <laughs> off something I'm missing but what all right so it's really like I said it's really cool to see sort of the differences of things like from the beginning like right now this is a dirt road in ours, it was actually like a full-on road that, that you could drive on and everything. And of course, this tree was much bigger <laughs> because it totaled our car. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the tower and there's the, over to the bridge. So, uh, man, my tire. Hopefully I can buy a tire pump at the gas station. Yeah, let's go in here and see. Oh, I'm looking for... Move objects around to find banknotes and coins. Some money may be hidden in compartments. All right, well, let's try that part first. Hey, got a coin. Um, got a coin. Found a fiver. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. It's over there. Oh my goodness, I just want this coin here. Please. Please. There we go. I need one more dollar. Ah, sorry, I have five more dollars. Um, oh, there it is. Buddy, even my car is not this bad. Jeez. $18. Nothing more to see from the tower. I've been on the lookout for days. Well, then let's go to the bridge. And again, this tree is much smaller now. Oh. oh. E plus R. It stands for Emily and Richard. Emily must have carved that. There's something behind the loose board. I don't have anything I can use for it, though. All right, we'll find. Maple Creek. This place will haunt me for years to come. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I'm busy, can't you see? Yes, yes, a tire pump. Seventeen dollars will be fine. I'm busy. Take the key and get the pump yourself. <laughs> so, you are leaving, Master Dick. So, you are leaving, Master Dick. You look exactly the same. There we go. Impulse buys. Good thing I spent most of my cash. I don't think that's right. The power cord's missing. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, okay, lots of stuff. Sticking plaster? What the hell is a sticking plaster? Tennis ball. Lollipops. There we go. C crowbar! Yeah, that should be in the kids' section. Football. Sticker. Pencils. Oiler? Oiler, okay. Pencils. Sticker? Yeah, sticker. What the hell is... Okay, that's a band-aid. That, that's a... Sticking... This is not a British game! <laughs> okay, we found a crowbar. That's good. Car tools. Yeah. 
lemon syrup, orange juice. One dollar for a drink. Maple Creek must have a tourist tax. Wow, it's 1980. Um, I think I need to find a power cord for it first, though. Alright. Oh, I don't have a map. Okay. So, you are leaving, Master Dick. Clearly. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Car's fixed, but I don't know where to go. I've already been to the church ten times. I've already questioned everyone in town and visited their homes. Nothing more to see from the tower. I've been on the lookout for days. Car's fixed, but I don't know where to go. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, right, I got the crowbar. E... Are find me here. Emily wrote this. I need to ask someone how to get there. A neglected cottage. Romantic in a gothic sense, I guess. Okay. Oh, I have a diary. Duh. Okay. Sorry. His diary. Investigation. It was meant to be a weekend date. My fiance Emily arrived a day early and got lost hiking. What terrible irony to have one's girlfriend as an investigation subject. Has she left me any clues or even a trace? It's been four days since I arrived in this eerie town and now I'm stuck with no idea what to do next. People aren't too eager to help. They're not mean, they just lack commitment, engagement, emotions even. Then there's that preacher they all praise so much. Their leader, their guru. He's intelligent, but I sense something off about him. I just can't put my finger on it. In addition to all the bad luck, my tire was punctured somehow. I'm stuck here until it gets fixed. The preacher. The citizens place great faith in the local preacher, yet the man makes me uneasy. And again, these are pictures and stuff that we see from the other game. Um, the clue hidden behind it. I found a heart with our initials on one of the bridge planks. Emily must have carved it. I wouldn't consider this an important clue, but there is something stashed behind it. Emily used to leave me hidden messages, our little game. If she did it recently, I might find her. I have to reach whatever's hidden behind that plank. What a blessing in disguise. Emily was playing lover's hide and seek with me. She left me a clue to her whereabouts, having no idea how important it would be. Now to find where this old building is, I should ask some locals. Maybe that mechanic at the gas station? Or the preacher? I see he's at the gas station too. Just where is it? Uh, go to the old cottage, find Emily. I'm busy. You want to talk? Talk to the preacher. Fine. How can I help you, detective? I'm looking for an abandoned cottage near Maple Creek. I know the place. Why don't I draw you a map? But first, can you get me a cup of coffee with milk and sugar from the vending machine, please? Sure. Uh, hopefully I'll find the power cord this time. Yeah, power cord. It's one of the ones. Hey! Oh, tea letter. Power cord. Uh, compass? Uh, oh, that was a car horn. That's a compass. My bad. That's a compass. <laughs> hot dog. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this. I don't like hot dogs. Like, not, not even at all. Not even a little bit. Ugh. Donuts wiper? Wiper and glue. Young glue. Where's the wiper? Oh, okay. Wouldn't have picked that up personally. Power cord! Alright. Power cord. Okay. Use my dollar coin. Preacher asks for a small coffee with milk and sugar. Rows are connected. Moving one element will remove the elements from the closest row. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's small coffee with milk and Ha! 
There we go. That seems like a very terrible way <laughs> to make people have to order their coffee. Oh boy. Okay. I'm working on the map for you. How's that cup of coffee with milk and sugar coming along? Yeah, yeah, I got your coffee, preacher man. Thanks for the coffee, Vincent. And here's your map. Beware. Courage is more dangerous than quaint these days. Okay. Cool. Through the town and then turn north at the farm. Legit, though, that preacher looks not a day older than when we interacted with them. And honestly, he should... If he was that old in, you know, 30 years beforehand, he should be dead. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh. This is... I wonder... I think this is actually, like, the cottage... <laughs> Like the remains that we found in ours. Wow. Okay. There's a lot in here. Jesus. Weed stalk. Chair leg. Cleaver. Weed stalk. Chair leg. Cleaver. Martin. Yeah. Bucket. Brush. Pliers. Toad. Saw. Bucket. <coughs> Bucket, bucket, bucket. Where is that bucket? I don't see a bucket. Oh, there's the bucket. Alright, brush. And a saw. What is with this place and saw? That's a noose. Okay. Again, please say paintbrush when you're talking about a brush because, like, please. It just helps so much for me to know a bit more about what I'm supposed to be attempting to look for. Alright, there was a saw. Where are pliers? Uh, Old-fashioned gross pliers. Hoo-hoo. Alright, accept. The attic in the upper floor must be completely ruined. <laughs> the windows are hardened with grime and the frame is too sturdy for me to break in. Okay. Doors boarded up. Not that that's ever stopped me. Pliers. Just <laughs> yank them out. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Um. Okay. Something's dangling from the window. I'll need something long to reach it. What is with this place and things dangling out of windows? But, okay. Can't get it yet. Um, so in that case, let's go inside. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Keyhole's been stuffed with something. Okay. To the dining room. Poker. Okay, let's walk up here first. Oh boy. Oh, so this one is, I think when they first, I think because it was a little, it was a bonus story, this is when they first started playing a bit more with, with having the, the various and sundry things that you've got to do something to access, um, at least a little bit. Okay, so the first things I can see here are pistol, okay, flute, there we go. Okay, and then I open this. Doily, bell, doily? Yeah, that's how I pronounce that. Swan and a bell. And then I open this other one, and now I've got to find all these other things. Scissors, matches, uh, tele. This is more like a spyglass than a telescope, but, well, I guess they're technically the same kind of thing. That is a mouse skeleton. Gross. <laughs> Just gross. And a comb. <clears throat> like a hold things in place comb as opposed to a make things tidy comb. Okay. It's a miracle the chandelier is still hanging. Oh. Odd. 
Most of the cutlery is still here. I wonder why. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll have to come back to that. Um, oh, knife. And a uh, very grubby piece of paper. Old newspaper, okay. The upper floor is collapsed. That it has. Zoom. Preacher was so nice to guide me here. This place is romantic, as if the history comes alive between the cobwebs and dust. I'll study this place thoroughly in the coming days. Emily's handwriting. She was here. I need paper for kindling. Well, I got that. And matches. Paper would burn out immediately. Okay. I need something else more substantial. Fine. Can't see anything. Maybe lighting the fireplace. Or well, I tried. Can't see anything. All right, fine. Um, I need more cutlery. That's a spider. Okay. Um, well, in that case, can I use the? Fine. Um, hmm. Interesting. 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 Something else seems here. Okay, is there firewood outside, maybe? Ah, there we go. Maybe. Wicker basket. Oh, horseshoe. That's not a wicker basket. That's a wine basket? I don't know. Ah, there's a log. Oh my gosh, so much of this stuff looks so similar. Brushwork. Wicker basket? No. Nest. Okay. A clog. Oh, like a shoe. Okay. There's another log. Good stuff. Cup. <clears throat> Work gloves. Okay, where the hell is a wicker basket? Okay. If you say so. Found some dry wood. That's all we need. So let's go inside. Boop. Now, matches. Oh my god. It's Emily's stuff. Oh. It's her backpack. <sighs> and her sleeping bag. We'll see. So, let's check out this sleeping bag. Ooh. Mm, okay. Ooh, spoon. The wire stuck under the box lid. Box is empty, but there's a wire stuck under the lid. Someone has removed one of the soldiers. What do we got here? Oh. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. Uh, an apple core. Binoculars. A thermos. Film tape? Oh, well, that's exposed and no good. Spring, a kettle, a knife, and a can? Can, can you do the can, can? <laughs> <clears throat> Interact, the way upstairs is blocked. Some form of artwork used to hang here, but why all the holes? Okay, I need something else. Oh, okay. Alright, what's over here? Interesting. 
four corners of the heraldic shield are missing. Ah. Guessing. I. It looks like I won't be able to rotate the rings until I reassemble the shield. Okay. Well, we'll handle that as it comes up, I guess. Um... the wire and now we know okay so um let's pop out of here because since we've got wire now we can use that to shove in here and get whatever that is out of the way need a key how about a poker <laughs> bam all right fine the dining room let's see what else we got in here um, monogram. Monogram. Okay. Hmm. So, what am I looking for? Oh, fork? Yes! Oh, uh, moth. Anchor. Chess piece. Chess. Oh, bugle. Chess piece. Button. Stamp? More like a wax seal than a stamp, but whatever. Um, horn. Anchor. Anchor. Would not have found that on my own. Not for a long while. Okay, found the last piece of cutlery, so... That's weird. Shield and the key. All right. That's so weird. Key. Let's go. Let's see. I don't like anything that's happening in this room. I don't like that this is moving. I don't like that this looks like it's cursed. I don't like that this looks like, oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this looks like, oh my god. This is hell. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Can I have that? Uh. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, I don't like this at all. Mm, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> oh, the curtains look decent in comparison to the half-decayed furniture. That is obviously belonging to a girl. Now it's falling apart with age. Okay. Oh, this is so fucking creepy. <sighs> okay. This old woodcut puzzle is missing a few pieces. Now I've only found one of three. Okay. Oh boy. Whew. What did I find? Okay. Yeah, I've got three of the four. Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay. Makeup compact. Uh knitting needles okay Ooh. wooden piece headband um. headband chocolate which should definitely be melted clasp okay glass bowl pen I don't know if that was the right word for it. All right. Found another one of you. Um, so, back to the dining room. Nope. The nursery. Nope. Back outside. 
Uh, oh, that's what that's for. There we go. A. All right, got the last shield piece, I think. Yes. Perfect. What do I got in here? Okay, let's put these bad boys in place. Rings are connected. The outer one moves the inner one. The shield pieces are misplaced. Swap them. So now, let's see, that's part of a ship, that's part of that, that's part of that, that's to there, to there, to there, to there, and there. All right. To the study. Interesting. Whoever owned this cottage was well educated. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, thing. The wind-up key is missing. It just so happens. Aww. Interesting. What is that? Tin covered medallion. Zoom. Maple Creek, Vermont, April 21st, 1823. He is responsible for the disappearance of all those women over the years, and possibly many more. It's risky, but I have to try to stop him. I think I know how to defeat his evil powers. Nonetheless, should I fail, you will find the evidence here. Start by melting the tin in the fire. Colonel J. Russell. Should I really put the medallion in the fire? Probably. <clears throat> And wherever that is. Draft. Oh, what's in here? Oh! Typewriter is missing a few keys. Well, good for it. I have some. Oh. Without the extra layer of tin, the medallion would fit here. Uh, oh, wait, there was... Locked. Okay. So I guess I do have to toss the tin in the fire. Interact. Okay, cool. Well, let's do that first, I guess. The tin is melted. Now I need something to take the medallion out of the fireplace. The poker! Now I just have a normal medallion. There's a woman's name inscribed on the medallion. Okay, well let's take it in here. That looks like that's where it's supposed to go. Mm, there is something? Oh. Okay. Three. Oh, okay, it's a code. Or it can make it be a code. Four. Okay, so it has to be a G here. And whatever this is has to be seven back here. Margaret. Okay. 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 Cool. Um... M A R. All right, well, let's do that first. M A R. And if that has to be S, I think that has to go there. Let's try that. Okay. Um. Okay. 
just thinking. And seven back from K is M A R. Okay, so I think that K needs to stay there, which means. What if I made that a W? Not quite. Okay. Okay, three forward. And three forward from O is. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, what if I did? Okay, so now oh, dang it. Um like what if I did you here? Instead of U, I did F. And then G. There we go. Margaret. And now I got a super secret message thing. Maple Creek, Vermont, September 13th, 1822. I keep following the preacher. Last night he set off to his forest hideout, those rocks on the hilltop. What? game are you playing old man colonel j russell preacher 16 decades ago a coincidence ah the last puzzle piece okay this creepy ass nursery all right that's some kind of bottom piece. Um, that's more like this. That's creepy enough as is. Okay. Okay, those are for sure supposed to go there then. There we go. Oh boy, that looks pretty much the same in the worst possible way. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I hate that room. I hate that room so much. It's so creepy. <gasps> Maple Creek, Vermont, April 21st, 1823. To whomever it may concern, if you are reading this, it means I failed. I have devoted the last years of my life to what I consider a just cause, a fight against an elemental evil impersonated by one man. Any essential information I manage to gather, I store here. 
Use it wisely and end the evil I failed to stop. Good luck. Yours faithfully, Colonel J. Russell. Maple Creek, Vermont, November 11th, 1822. The whole community is under his control. Maple Creek is his realm. But is power an end in itself, or is it just the means to an even more evil end? Who are you that you dare to hide your evil nature under priests' robes? Colonel J. Russell. The bell is the medium. 160 years later, and the church still gives me the heebie-jeebies. 50 years ago, the preacher looked exactly the same. He hasn't aged at all. June 16, 1771, the founding of Maple Creek. The founding of Maple Creek. So he's been here from the very beginning? And after 200 years, still the same? Is he immortal? No, it can't be. It's him, the preacher who still lives here. Whatever you do, he will return. Wounded or seemingly dead, he will find a way to drain life force from his puppets to immediately revive. And each murder victim enhances his power even more. There is only one way to destroy him. Break the medium and kill him with his own weapon. Colonel J. Russell. Which is what he was trying to do when we interrupted. Shed the demon's blood with its own dagger. It's the only way. The bell is the medium. If what the colonel says is true, then the preacher is a demon? This is where he brings all his victims. I've already seen this place. If, if it's true, Emily. I know this place. I've been there before. From the very beginning, I sensed there was something off about that preacher. I just couldn't figure out what. What is he? An immortal demon? I don't know. And I don't care. All I care about is Emily. And I pray I'm not too late. The strange engraved stones mark a place of ages old tragedy. Um. Oh, okay. It's just more of the same. Interesting. The chambers. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Whoo! Skeletal hand? No, not skeletal enough. Skeletal hand. Bracelet, camera, jawbone. Oh, pen. Um, gosh. Camera. Spider. Bottle. That's, that's a bottle. Okay, fine. It's not the bottle. Lipstick. Spider. Oh, spider. Bottle. Shoe. Eye. Hat. Shoe. Eye. Hat. Oh, shoe. Uh, bracelet and a hat. Okay. Hat. Oh, duh. Found a useful item, a skeletal hand. Okay. I won't leave until I find Emily or assure she's not here. <clears throat> well, that was close. Skeletal hand. To the ritual hall. Feel as if the creepy place makes me weaker with every passing moment. Um. Oh, okay. She's alive but unconscious. I must get her out of here. Must find a way to break the chains. Okay, I don't have anything yet. Oh. Okay. Um, all I've got is your necklace, buddy. I feel as if, as if the demonic artifact drains life from me when I get close. Okay, there had been... Uh, okay, Let's see if I can find something in here. Oh, maybe that. Um, handbag, umbrella, journal, arrow, oh, col what the hell is a collier? 
That's that's an arrow. That is an arrow. Excuse you. Ribbon. Wig. Lipstick. Okay. What? What the hell was that other thing then? A tiny spear? Alright, it's not a pickaxe. Pickaxe. Carefully. Just. You've gone too far, detective. Oh no. Your impudence will not be forgiven. What? The, it's pitch black in here. I can't see a thing. Light. I need some light. A crack in the wall? Just a few hits more. Emily. Emily is gone. Let's get out of here. Sincerely, Richard Hamilton. All right, and that is everything for the first game, the Ghosts uh, Enigmatis, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. Um, I definitely really hope that you enjoyed uh, playing along with me. I hope that uh, it was something that gave you like a little spooky thrill. Um, you can look forward to the next couple of games coming out uh, soon after this. Um, I'll probably still be able to keep to this uh, uploading uh, three, maybe even four times a week thing um, for the next little while. Um, but uh, I, I do really hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll enjoy the other ones. The other two games are really cool and they, um, they, they continuously improve just a little bit. Um, so the next one, uh, I don't remember the exact name right now, but it's, uh, it has to do with a very spooky kind of raveny theme and a creepy ass theme park. So <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. Um, but thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope that you again had a lot of fun with this as much as I did. Um, if you like what you saw, please uh, consider giving me uh, a like, maybe even subscribing and hitting the bell if you'd like to be notified when I do uh, update and post things. Um, share with your friends, tell people about them, come back and watch again if you'd like to. <laughs> um, and uh, if uh, you have anything that you want to suggest that I play or any recommendations on how to make what I'm doing look better, because God knows I am a very much an amateur and new at this, so I'm trying. Uh, please feel free to leave me uh, a message in the comments below. That'd be great. Um, or just any encouraging words in the comments below if you'd like to. That's also nice. Um, but uh, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. And as I've said before, uh, be kind to one another, be safe, and be happy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>